Hi everyone, I miss you guys a lot this week, so I thought I would read you some books. This one is called Brown Bear's Wonderful Secret. It was written by Caroline Castle and Tina McNaughton. One wintry evening, Brown Bear came rushing out of the woods. I have a secret, smiled the big brown bear. It's wonderful. It's fantastic. It's shout out loud and jump for joy. Incredible. What is it? asked Fox. What is the secret that's so great? Can you eat it? No, no, said Brown Bear impatiently. You wouldn't want to eat it. You'd want to snuffle it and nuzzle it. You'd want to lick it all over from the top to the bottom and then some more. Oh, said Raccoon, popping out from behind a tree. Is it an icicle? Is that what it is? Mm, icicles are really cold. Icicle tricycle, said Brown Bear. Are you joking? Who would, who would snuffle and nuzzle an icicle? My secret isn't cold. But you might want to wrap it up warm and hold on to it for all you are worth. What can it be? asked Squirrel. Tell us, Brown Bear, is it by any chance a pile of nuts? Nuts, nuts, cried Brown Bear, doing a little dance. You're nuts if you think my secret is nuts. My secret isn't nuts. You can't crunch or munch it. You can't bury it in the ground and dig it up for next winter. Although, said Brown Bear, seriously, you would want to keep it hidden from the greedy creatures who might want to steal it from you. And I'll tell you, Bear continued, looking especially at Fox, that will never happen. Well, 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 said Owl. Ooh, ooh, this is a real puzzle. That secret of yours, can it fly? No, no, said Bear, my secret cannot fly. But what I'll do is throw it up in the air, and when it sails down, I'll catch it in my big, strong arms and never let it go. Is it little, the secret? asked the mouse. Is it teeny weeny secret that you tuck it away under your fur? There's the teeny weeny mouse. Oh, I'll tuck it under my fur all right, said Brown Bear. Don't you worry about that. I'll tuck it up, but I'll take it out every day and just look and look at it because I won't be able to believe my luck. The secret of yours must be very wonderful, said Deer, shaking her head. I wish I knew what it was. It's not just wonderful, said Brown Bear. It's fabulous. It's so marvelous and magical. Night began to fall. The other creatures were getting tired of Brown Bear and the fabulous secret that no one could guess. Brown Bear is making it up, said Fox, sniffily. I don't believe there's a secret at all. Anyway, that's not, not a very amazing one. Hmm, what do you think the secret could be? I don't know what it is. I agree, said Owl. Look, all that shouting and prancing around is just showing off. I'm tired of it all. A secret that you can't eat but want to lick? That can't fly, but you throw it right up into the air? A secret that you tuck under your fur, indeed. That doesn't sound like a very fabulous secret at all. The other animals agreed. But when they looked around for Brown Bear, they found that she had disappeared into the mist. 
Time went by, and the land froze over. Brown Bear huddled in the den, sometimes cold and sometimes hungry. There were blizzards and ice storms and some dark and dangerous times, but the thought of the secret made the big brown bear strong, waiting, waiting for the winter to pass. There he is in his den, sleeping in the winter. Brown Bear's secret was born in the spring. It was tiny and soft as a feather nest with great black eyes and a little snuffly snout. Bear held it gently in her big strong arms, never to let it go. Then she gave a great yell of joy that echoed across the meadows and all the way to the mountains. Fox, squirrel, raccoon, owl, deer, and mouse all came to see what the fuss was about. Oh, look at the little bear cub. And they had to agree that Brown Bear's secret was very wonderful indeed. I think their secret was pretty wonderful too.